Pinal Central to Tortoli to 500 project. $76 million. 41 miles of line. It's been one of the largest transmission projects that TEP's ever completed. 220 poles. 185 structures. 12 months of construction time over three years of permitting and engineering. Fifteen and a half million dollar budget for a substation expansion. Over eight departments working together to execute this project. It's a huge project because it really strengthens our electrical system uh, from the north side of our service territory. The vegetation removal was um, extremely reduced. Those of us that work on this project are very dedicated to the environment. We wanted to minimize our footprint during the construction of this transmission line. The net result is um, about 80% of the ground disturbance that could have occurred, we were able to avoid. They don't want to impact any more habitat than they have to. If they wanted to, they could blade everything, but they don't want to. They want to try and help the land, help the plants, you know, um, be part of taking these plants and giving them another life, another chance. From our perspective, the poles were huge. They were the largest poles that we've ever had in any of our systems. Uh, 190 feet tall to cross over top of our uh, 500 kV system at APS. The average structure was 150 feet tall. Because of the pre-assembly, and the jacking, they were able to set almost 14 structures a day. They set the entire 41 miles or the 220 poles for this project in about two months. It really is amazing how, how well they um, worked together and how well they had their work lined out from a sequential perspective. They had the foundations ahead of the material hall, ahead of the framing crew, ahead of the erection crew, and then once all of those activities were complete, they regrouped with all of their resources and came back and strung all the wire. They had the helicopter there to, to string the conductor. That reduced the impact on the ground because uh, the uh, sock line never did touch the ground. Uh, that made that process much faster. They also utilized new equipment. They bought a new tensioner, which would actually power down and power up, which. Uh, which made the wire stringing operations quicker. They implemented explosive sleeves in the project, which allowed them to um, make a conductor sleeve right outside of the tensioner stringing operations. And then pull those sleeves through the travelers. Uh, normal compression sleeves aren't rated to pull through the traveler. They'll, they'll fatigue and break over time if you pull them through a the traveler. So, um, the explosive sleeves were actually rated to do that. It actually saved us some money. The Tortolita substation needed to be expanded. We needed to provide a uh, termination point and uh, all of the equipment necessary to provide protection and routing for that line into the substation. The beginning of the project, we basically had seven acres of brand new uh, land that we had to prepare. We had to, to grub the yard, we had to put up the A-frame, and we had over 250 piers and foundations to support the equipment. We had eight 500 kV breakers that, were in, that we were to install for this project. We had 14 500 kV switches. Our contractor did the heavy pulling as far as you know, doing all of the earthwork and all of the physical work. And it was a, uh, a wonderful combination of people, personalities. It was just a, a very uh, well-planned, well-orchestrated event. And it was very successful. 
when you track a project like that, um, you get everybody to be able to excel in what they do. And, and then you have a contractor that's uh, successful because you have a repetitive process. It's a 41 mile project so they can get in what I would call a construction groove. I think this is really um, one of the first projects that we really focused on um, what we needed to do from a team effort. And the front end planning for this project was very successful. It had realistic expectations, the, the milestones for the project were set. But what it really says too is that during the execution of the project that we monitored the status, that when issues arose on the project that we were able to get the answers to resolve those issues and move forward in a timely manner. We actually finished up about six weeks earlier than what was on paper. We were able to put out a construction package that was so complete, we've actually completed it with less than a half a percent of uh, change orders on the project. When we all work together as a team, what we end up with is the highest quality project that we can possibly give the customers at the lowest possible price. That is the goal of our project, is serving our customers and providing a reliable source of power. So it not only helps us meet our needs today, it helps us meet our needs for growth in the future.